Hey everyone, Donut here. So I've been trying to take the weekends off, relax a little bit, spend some time with my son, and uh, I didn't plan on making a video this weekend, Sunday of course, but I've been trying to stay away from talking about Sean King. I think in my last video I said, I'm not going to talk about this clown anymore because it just gives him attention, which gives him clicks, which is how he makes his money, and he's, he's fucking delusional. You know what, I was doing so good, as soon as I saw that the Santa Fe shooter, the school shooter was white, I said, you know what, Sean King's gonna be, gonna be saying, well, the only reason that police didn't shoot him was because he's white, and lo and behold, he didn't. I didn't say anything about it, I stayed away from it, I said, nope, Sean King just fucking ate paint chips when he was a kid. But holy shit, I'm making a video at 11 o'clock at night, when I want to go watch cartoons with my son because Sean King is back at his shenanigans. And I think it's worse than I've ever seen because he's putting a law enforcement officer's family in danger. Actually, two law enforcement officers because his followers can't even find the right officer who he's talking shit about. And so two families are being threatened by his brain-dead followers. You heard that correctly. If you blindly follow Sean King then you're one of the window-licking, booger-flicking people I was talking about in one of my last videos. You, you're brain dead. You, you, don't, you don't have the capability in your brain for critical thought. You can't, you can't research shit yourself. So King posts this huge story about eight hours ago, and it's already got 36,000 shares on Facebook. He's got one and a half, actually 1.7 million followers on Facebook. Let me, let me read this post. You know, before I get into reading this entire post, let me just say he's made some... Very, you know what, not even allegations. He hasn't even made allegations against this trooper. He said this happened because Sean King can teleport places and tell you exactly what happened in all these situations involving police officers, including all the school shootings. I'm sorry, I'm jumping all over the place because he's putting officers' lives in danger, many officers' lives in danger, and it's not true. Long story short, he said an officer raped a woman. It's already been investigated today because of how viral it went. And it's been determined to not be true, but the officer's family and friends are still being doxxed and, and their lives are being threatened. The, the anti-police propaganda is, is unreal with this guy already, but him saying this definitely happened and then an investigation already being launched and after the investigation being launched, all the information turned over to the local DA for a further investigation, he's still being... Man, I don't know what to say. It's, it's fucking stupid. I'm going to go into the post that Sean King wrote. I'm going to leave the officer's name out of this because he's already being doxxed all over the place. What do you see? What do you see? The comments. The comments are, are fucking cancer. He made this Facebook post. It says, This woman was kidnapped and raped by a Texas state trooper. Officer blank. I'm not going to use his name. She's now being held hostage in Ellis County Jail. Sharita Dixon Cole just happened to be a close personal friend of civil rights attorney and my close friend, Lee Merritt. So this person is a personal friend of a civil rights attorney and Sean's close personal friend, Lee Merritt. These are the facts he was able to get together after speaking with her family. These are 100% facts according to Sean King. On May 20th, 2018 at approximately 1.30 a.m., Sharita Dixon Cole was pulled over in Waxahachie, Texas by state trooper officer Blank near an abandoned car dealership. She was told she was being stopped because Blank expected she was driving while intoxicated. Cole voluntarily performed and passed all DUI, DWI protocol, including a breathalyzer. However, Blank decided he he didn't like her attitude and that she was going and that he was going to take her to jail anyway. So now we have this highway patrolman, a Texas state trooper saying, well, you passed everything, but I'm going to take you to jail anyways. Texas Highway Patrol certainly doesn't have dash cameras, right? It's a DWI DUI investigation. Why would you ever use a dash cam? He handcuffed her hands behind her back and placed Cole in the front passenger seat of the patrol vehicle. Officer Blank then took a seat beside Cole and placed his hand on her thigh. He asked her if she wanted to go home as he hiked up her skirt. He told her that she could earn her way home if she really wanted to. Cole had called her boyfriend to the scene of the stop when she was first pulled over. He arrived just as the officer began to accost her. Officer Blank asked Cole who was in the car. When she explained it was her fiance, he asked her, was he armed? When she said he was not, Officer Blank retorted, if you tell him what happened, he will be armed and his firearm will be visible and I will have to shoot him. Officer Blank went out to speak with Cole's boyfriend 
and allowed him to speak with her briefly in his presence. She told him that she passed the DUI DWI protocol, but the officer said he was taking her anyways because of her attitude. Officer Blank immediately ended the conversation and told Cole he was taking her to the Ellis County Jail. Her fiance told Blank that he would follow them to the jail, but Officer Blank warned him that he could not follow him and he would be arrested if he tried. Cole's fiance drove a short distance up the road and waited for the officer to head towards the jail. Instead, Officer Blank re-entered the patrol car after placing Cole back into the front passenger seat with her hands cuffed behind her back. He drove the car behind the vacant dealership and told Cole, why don't you just give me some of that sweet pussy you have been given your fiance, and then you can go home. Cole begged Officer Blank to just take her to jail. He placed his hands back up her skirt and penetrated her vagina, warning her not to be stupid. He explained she could go home tonight if she just gave him what he wanted. When Officer Blank's patrol car didn't come up the road, Cole's fiance looped around the highway and made it behind the dealership. When Officer Blank saw the car approaching, he drove off while Cole's fiance say followed at a distance. Officer Blank maneuvered his vehicle down back streets and was successfully able to lose the vehicle telling him. <laughs> he told Cole that he knew a place where they could go and where he could get what he wanted so she did not have to go to jail. He continued to pull at her clothes and place his hand down her shirt and up her skirt. Cole continued to beg to just be taken to jail as her boyfriend searched for her. Finally, Officer Blank relented and drove back to the highway and to Ellis County Jail where she was booked for DUI DWI. Cole currently remains in police custody, but has been allowed to speak with her family and fiance. We are actively working to get her released and get her the full identity of this officer in order to get him off the streets. This woman is a mother and a corporate professional. She didn't just make this up. A horrible crime was committed against her, and it needs to be dealt with immediately. Sharita, we are getting you out and getting you justice. As I said, the people in the comments are doxing this officer and his family and friends also, they're doxing another officer with the same last name who works for Texas Highway Patrol. They're doxing him, his family, and his friends. And they're receiving death threats. Someone in this crowd should track and kill this officer. This is not a case where we need to protest, but literally burn the police station down if she is not released. This pig needs to be dealt with immediately. I better get off of here because y'all don't want the kind of justice I'm willing to deal out. This officer needs to be killed. That's it. Forget prosecution. He should die. This motherfucker deserves to be capped. No ifs, ands, or buts. You see this yet? Pigs. He needs to die under the jail. And there's thousands, thousands of comments like this. And there's zero evidence backing Sean King's statement. The Texas Department of Public Safety has responded to the allegations on their official pages saying, Upon learning of the allegations today, the department immediately took action to review the dash cam video. The video shows absolutely no evidence to support the serious accusations against the trooper during the DWI arrest of the suspect. The Texas Department of Public Safety will present the video to the DA's office to determine if any further action is needed. The department will release the video to the public if there are no objections by the DA's office. This this officer and the other officer who shares the same last name and also works for the same agency, they're receiving death threats. Their family and friends are receiving death threats right now. I've confirmed this. They're, they're, there are people calling them, telling them they're going to kill them. We've done what? Three, four videos in the past month where people are making serious allegations against police that can, that, that can hurt them. Bringing terroristic threats against an officer like this using false allegations ha has to be some kind of charge. If not criminally, then, then these officers need to sue the shit out of Sean King because this is get, it's getting out of control. It's not right. This shit is taking up too much room in my head and it's stressing me out. I'm going to go back to hanging out with my son, but I thought this needed to be shared because it's, it's fucking bullshit, man. It's, it's getting out of hand. I can't wait till Texas Department of Public Safety releases the video and it shows zero evidence that this happened. You know what? And I, and I hope this isn't one of those things where it goes back to like, oh, well, you know, this activist lied about it, but no one gives a fuck. Let's just move on to the next time they lie and, and no one, you know, nothing comes from it. I'm going to go watch some cartoons. I hope everyone had a very safe weekend and please have a fantastic day. Mm -hmm.